Beams, uh, beams. So this is quite cool. I just saw this recently. Actually, I added this just only just now onto my list. But Beams recruits New Balance, Arterix, and LL Beam for their Spring Summer 20 bag, which is a pretty cool little lineup of people, right? So, you know, Beams, great Japanese retailer or Tokyo-based retailer that you should be familiar with who have their own kind of, you know, in-house labels as well and, and that they kind of run. Um, and in general, you know, they don't really miss with their collaborations. It's pretty evident that they do really cool stuff and they make it look very, very easy. And I think this collaboration is a really good example of it. Um, so this is an article from Hypebeast. Um, I've got it here on, on the screen. Beams recruits New Balance, Arterix and LL Bean for Spring Summer 20 bags. Never to want to, in this article, never want to slouch on seasonal collaboration. Beams is kicking off the Spring Summer 2020 season with uh, Sukhoik, however you pronounce that word, that makes the sandals exclusive, followed by a host of bespoke bags. The special goods include joint efforts from, LL, from New Balance, Arterix, LL Beam and a Japanese label face. Beams and its various sub-labels continue to long-standing partnerships with each label imagining everything from lightweight totes to mountain ready parkers and i think it's really cool i think because they're you know what the advantage of being a retailer first is that you can do multi multiple uh brand collaborations and not have to sign exclusivity deals i'd imagine so again i'm not too sure maybe beams gets a, gets gets maybe Beam gets around it because maybe the i don't know maybe the kind of the contractual law in japan is different than what it is in europe like maybe if you sign an exclusivity deal Maybe if you sign a deal to do collaboration with New Balance in Japan, you have to do it in New Balance Southeast Asia, right? Which I'll assume isn't doesn't have the same sort of stipulations that they would have in Europe, so that you can somehow be able to finagle doing a new. Because I've seen stores do New Balance uh, collaboration, then the next week do Adidas, the next week do then the, then the following collaboration do a Nike. When most retailers you see in, in in Europe have this kind of okay, we did this big Puma collaboration. Then you have to wait a whole 18 months or two years until they do something with Reebok and then it kind of goes on, goes on. So it seems as if they have an exclusivity deal with that brand and they can't do any other collaborations because they don't want to, the brand usually don't want the collaboration, every other collaboration after the fact to kind of impede or to kind of, you know, make them forget or make the public forget about their collaboration that they did. So there's a little bit of a protection of image or brand in that regard. So maybe in Japan it's not the same, I'm not too sure, but I just love the fact that they're able to kind of do these multi-label collaborations at once. And then retail, and then the customers are able to kind of pick from all these amazing brands that they can kind of vibe with, or maybe get used to other ones. I, I think it really works well. Again, I'm not really the fan of these exclusivity deals because I think if you're a no, if you're an unknown label, if you're a face, for instance, or a cult label like that, it's quite cool to have your collaboration sit alongside industry vets like New Balance uh, or Bean and Arterix. Like it's quite a good thing. I want to be next to them. Um, it's gonna actually help my brand because when they put like when they merchandise a store and they have their little 20, season 2020 bags section, people are gonna come to maybe buy the Arterix bag because they know what Arterix is, but they might also see my stuff and be like, oh, actually that stuff is pretty cool too and pick it up. So I don't think it's such a bad thing. Um similar to like albums dropping, right? If you're a big artist, if you're an underground artist, yes, maybe dropping in your album the same weekend as Drake isn't advantageous, but so what in it? Like if you're not that well known, it doesn't matter if you drop in a dead week. I'm still not gonna listen to you anyway. But sometimes if you have, if you have do have, if you do drop around the Drake Day and Spotify uh, edits the homepage to make it look as if like we can discover other bits of music and you pop up on my discovery page, I'll give you a listen. So it's probably advantageous to drop at the same time as him. Of course, if you're famine thinking and you're in a scarcity mindset, you might be a bit apprehensive about it. But you know, um, still sharp and still, baby. Let's continue here. Artrix's is ongoing exclusives include a Mantis 2020 backpack. I like that everyone's did this the different thing for Beams Boy and two shoulder pouches and an emblazoned Beams branded offer the sustainable Beams Boy. It also just another collaboration with New Balance Advertisement Market Tote. Uh elsewhere technical garment accessories from label the face serves as a freeway helmet bag of Kudura Woven label. So it's amazing, right? So you've got three different different three types of different three different brands three different bags the actual style on this one and the new balance tote bag is amazing you know it's sort of like amazing kind of hobo style with the big overcoat nice rolled up jeans new balance worn and a massive tote bag looks bloody amazing maybe we're going to see those actually get retro whatever that new balance is i actually had a pair of those in orange that were just too small for me that to sell on which is annoying but hey um and you got this amazing artrix backpack like if that's one thing that we know about japanese labels or the Japanese arm of a particular European label is that they really know how to make bags and accessories. Like they don't skimp. As much time as they spend on making great outerwear pieces, they can actually make a great backpack too. It's bloody amazing to see. So you've got this great backpack. You've got another amazing shoulder bag sort of thing. You've got this great sort of like a head porter type 
sort of like tote bag which looks really great i think i saw it before an article someone saying that um smaller bags are out and now bigger sort of like tote bags are in for men which is great to see because that telfar bag is going to go like ott um these next few years of course people are going to kind of uh, latch onto it but i just love everything about this man it looks amazing uh again a nice i think that i'm going to say it'll, it'll be couch tote sort of like um canvas bag yep definitely is just amazing every cut co- every club every, every collection here just looks great i'd wear everything from this collection overall like so so good um you can't really go wrong in anything here really um what we got here in terms of dates expect the collaboration of bags to launch on beam's website in japanese lo- locations february march april and again nowadays with proxy services that you can use out there it's very easy to get these kind of bags i'm sure if you contact them via instagram or maybe dm them in general you probably might be able to get a response too and get uh, get yourself one as well so it's not as difficult as it was back in the day because back in the day it was super difficult to get to hold these bags but even nowadays i think for the most part kids unfortunately are still only buying stuff from certain brands so they don't really this doesn't permeate unless kind of young lord uh it's like, it's like Bari, rocky Travis, you know, the usual cohorts, Lucas about where these things normally care. So you can get away with it if you're clever and look for stuff that's a bit like under uh, under the radar and kind of, you know, really email them and plead your case. They'll probably be able to help you out. And especially if you're ready to pay, don't email people and ask for proxies if you're just thinking about buying it. If you got money to pay and you can pay instantly and wind the money through PayPal, do it. Get on, get involved because I'm sure they'll be able to help you out. And again, great collaboration starting from February. Loads of stuff is dropping really early in the year and loads of big heat, man. So definitely check it out, man. Really cool collaboration. I'm a fan of everything that's involved in this pack. Um, really well done. I think this backpack's probably the standout for me in that collaboration. And and yeah, and maybe this kind of pack from the face as well, which is, is it face, I'd say? Face for F forward slash, yeah, pretty sure. But yeah, definitely check it out. Uh, Beams recruits all these free cohorts to make like, you know, the free horsemen, the bags, man. Bloody amazing. I'm a big fan of all of it.